Hello, we're going to start this class talking about network topology. So you see here network topologies. There are two different types of network topologies here. I'm going to show it to you here. That's your two types. Topology here, you have logical topology and physical topology. They're different. If you ask a guy work in the IT industry, you want them to show you a topology. They may ask you back which topology you want to see. You want to see logical topology or physical topology. They are different. You say that, no, I just want your topology. Well, I cannot give that to you. We have two different types of topology. One is logical topology, one is physical topology. They are different. Let me give you an example to show you the difference between a logical topology and physical topology. For example, in a classroom with 24 plus one computers, 24 computers for the students, one computer for the teacher, and one printer. Everybody sharing this printer. So we are talking about network topology. Where comes this network? 25 computers sharing one printer. Now we have a network here, networking. And in this network with 25 computers and one printers, show me. So two things I can show you. Number one, logical topology. You ask my classroom logical topology, I'm going to tell you I have 25 computers, one printer. So logically, what do you have? What I have here logically, what I have is printer equal to one, computer equal to 24 plus one. It's easy to understand, 24 for student, one for teacher. Then you also ask me the layout of your classroom equipment here, computers and printers. This is all you can say is where. This is what you have. What do you have in your class? I have one printer, uh, 24 computers plus one computer. And where are your printers and computers? I need to show you. So this is how I show you. The printer is in the corner here, and the teacher computer is in here, and we have student computer, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six. That's 24 student computers, that's the layout. Let's check the reasoning for having this kind of a topology. In here, come back to the logical topology here. If I'm showing you that, like for instance, printer equal to 10, computers equal to 25, something wrong about your logical topology. 25 computer, you don't need to use 10 printers. That's too much. So that's one scenario. If I have another scenario showing you one printer, 2000 computers, problem again. 2000 computers sharing one printer. Doesn't seem like to be to work. Go back to physical topology here. The printer put in here, that's fine here teacher computer put in here, that's fine here, and student computer put like that way, that's also fine. If I change this physical topology to put all those 24 computer in here, in this side here, the question will be asked, this empty space, what are you gonna do with this empty space? I'm saying, hmm, I'm gonna have some team meeting because this is a business computer classroom, so this area, I have some table here, so, Students can come here to do some team meetings here and computer are all this side. So that makes sense. That makes a difference here. This is where, where are your computers? Since we are computer science computer, we don't have that team meeting set up here. We don't need it. So we put in computer here, 12 computer, 12 computer here. If you still like to ask question, then why in this area you don't put any computer? That's because the file consideration and we need to have access in here. So in case some ambulance uh, uh, access here, fire or uh, path here. So that's why we have to do that way. So that's the stuff. Now, hopefully you understand the topology here. We have physical topology and logical topology. There are two different topology. Let's review one more time here. Uh, logical topology in this case is what you have and physical topology, physically where they are. Um, come back to our text here. The text said that, okay, move in here. How about that? Uh, yep, that will work here. I'm going to, 
uh, topology here of network here. Then they show you some topology here. The topology here, they have hub here. This is the hub. The term, or that's the one term, a generic term. You can say that they have a switch. One switch can connect to different, um, let me see here, uh, different type of equipment here. Like this is a switch, 24 port switch here. You can connect to a printer here. You can connect to a computer, 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 computer. This one looks like a server here. We can share file here. So this is called star topology here. You see, look like a star. S-T-A-R, star topology. Come back. Star topology, will star topology be logical topology or physical topology? That's your physical topology. Physically, we are going to use that way. Where are your computer? How you connect it? That's your physical topology here. Logical topology that will be one printer, five PC, one server. That's your, that's your logical topology. So show you a physical topology as a star topology here. And then this is the mesh topology here. One, two, three, four, you say four PC. So each one has direct connection to the other three computers like this one here, connect here, connect here, connect here, all the same, that's called mesh topology here. The star topology here, if you want to, this uh, physical topology here, and if the logical topology also star topology here. Logical topology in this case here is not what you have, it's how you communicate. How you communicate with star topology here is, same, if this one, if this one here, this computer want to print out something here. So by the token, using the token ring topology here, this guy have a token. Then this one want to print out. You cannot print out nothing here. You don't have a token. You cannot do it here. So this one, they they do this token idea to preventing like two computers happen to be at the same time want to print out something. Then this computer send out something. This computer send out something. They're gonna crash in this switch or you call half here. Then no one can can do anything here to preventing this kind of like a car crash crash here. They have creating this idea for token read. Token green idea was created by IBM, but it's not a good idea. I'll show you why it's not a good idea. Mm, so this guy have a token here, and this guy want to print out something here. You cannot print out anything here because you don't have a token. So this guy have a token here, say, mm, no, I have nothing to print out here. So give the token via the star to next, next computer. Next computer say, hmm, I don't have anything to print out, but this computer is yelling there, say, hey, Hey, help on me, help on me, wait your turns. And come back to the next computer, next computer, come back to you. Now you're holding up the token. You can print out something. And then after you print out something, you can release a token to the next one here. Whoever have the token can print out something. Very, very inefficient. Lots of waiting times here. So it's kind of slow, very, very slow here. Say so how slow? Maybe two seconds slow, three seconds slow. That's in a computer world. That's very, very slow here. So that's uh, inefficient. So nobody using the token idea, token ring, token idea, no. They are using a different idea here. So star and mesh topology here, showing you here. And this topology here, you can think about logical topology, how I run my cable here. And you can think about how I communicate. For instance, if this guy want to communicate uh, with this guy, then one way is from here to here, another way is from here to here, right? So that's a different way of communication. So topology, they show you how the cables are run and how the machines are communicate to each other. How the cables are run, you can think in that is your physical topology, physically how you run your cable, logically how those computer devices communicate from send to uh, how they do it. Here we have a NIC car here, network interface car. This one you know it, that's fine. You don't know it, it's not going to hurt you. That's Ethernet car here. You have a notebook. A long time ago, um, I was talking about it 15, 20 years ago here and you have a computer you want to connect to ethernet then you need to have a nic card outside insert look like a credit card size here and in addition to that you also need to have a wi-fi card you want to connect your uh, notebook to wi-fi at home 
uh, to school here you have to have a insert look like a smaller size uh, like a smaller credit card you need to insert to your computer otherwise that will not work NIC car here for network car here and Wi-Fi car here today you don't have it the function are still there then how how come you don't have it the computer manufacturers know that most likely you're going to connect to network and most likely you're going to connect Wi-Fi so they have a built-in it's already inside of your computer you don't need to buy it anymore so that's that's it that you can say that your computer still have a NIC car Wi-Fi car built in inside of your computer you don't need to have it here and this one show you the MAC address what is the MAC address here MAC address here is your computer's serial number here it's uh, in your um, CPU like your CPU number here since day one we have a computer all the computers have CPU and each CPU have a unique MAC address never um they um, never reuse it's pretty much like a car here thinking about your car here since long long time ago ford made the first car they have a serious number we call it vin number vehicle a vin number identification code here vin number here then we have millions of cars nowadays here they all have different vin number and you have VIN number, what else you have? You have license plate number. License plate number, you can change it, but VIN number, you cannot change. That's your engine number, that's, that's come with the car here. Same idea, same idea. Thinking about your VIN number, when you get your car insured, um, they are gonna ask you a VIN number. They use based on your their VIN number, not your license plate number. In this case, if you change your license plate number, you don't need to go to talk to your, uh, insurance company the car is insured based on the VIN number VIA number your computer also have two number one is your MAC address one is your IP address if you're not connecting to internet it you have or have not IP address here make no difference once you connect to internet you need to have IP address we all know that an IP address uh, in addition to IP address your computer have a MAC address. So MAC address comes with your computer, CPU, IP address. Whenever you connect to um, internet, you have IP address. For instance, you bring your notebook, which have a MAC address, to Starbucks. You Starbucks IP address, not your home app IP address. So it's shared here. You use Starbucks IP address to attack some site, and people may come back to you um if they, they'll come back to you here and they say hey uh you attack some site you say no you say hey that's the ip address used in the neighborhood starbucks you say hey um i mean many many people use that here yeah i use that but uh it's uh, which that many people use that here and uh, you cannot say that i attack the network then based on the log here they can show you you use a Starbuck IP address and your computer that's your identical that's this notebook attack the side here you still can argue that I did not some people stole or borrow my computer to do did that to do that here sure you can do that here but they can come back to that computer made that attack here it's not like IP address here they only know your IP address, so they don't know me. They still know you. That's your MAC address here. Um, MAC address is read by your switch here. And based on the switch, you go to a router. Router go to a internet. Uh, router is read your IP address. Now you have address here going to be used. Otherwise, it's useless. So who's going to read that? Yeah, same idea. Like you have home address. Who's going to read your home address? The post office the mailman here they read your address here then they give the stuff to you so same idea repeater here is the, for a long distance you may need a repeater here because the signal getting weaker and weaker here thinking about wild and wireless here wireless of course microwave keep getting weaker and weaker and wild here again that's uh, they have some um 
their gold gets weaker and weaker in in the wild here because unless uh, like in um, they have some um, yeah and they're going to the signal even in the wild going to go down here because the noise here because the material here and that's the case so don't know you need to have a repeater to push it back in hub here so you connect to many many nodes here a hub here and they say that a hub and a switch here the reason for the previous slide i keep saying a switch switch i never mentioned a hub is the hub is obsolete here long time ago your computer you say hey, six computer for instance connect to a hub then say 10 hub connect to a switch today no you don't do that here we don't do a hub anymore it's very very um it's almost obsolete here nobody uses it here we are using a switch see 24 or 12 port or 24 port 24 computer directly connect to a switch they don't connect to a hub they can connect to a switch that's old technology here so you're not going to hear the hub hub you talk about hub the it guy may not know the old it guys will know what you're talking about the young it guy will say mm, what's hub so you're going to have computer connect to switch here typically 24 ports so you can connect 24 pc or if you want to connect to a printer then 23 pc one printer so that's a switch router here so many many switch say 10 100 switches here if you have 10 switch here 24 200, 240 here and then if you're 100 to 2400 here then connect to a router or more than that connect to a router here a router will go to internet now your computer here if your computer cannot reach the internet maybe the connection between your computer and the switch forget about how here and, and the switch here maybe between the switch and router here so that's reason here that's your router here like school school here your computer is connected to a switch here and many many switch connect to a router so if our school router is not working no one can connect outside to the internet gateway just to show you this port pretty much like ownership here like this is a gateway here this say this is one school school a and this is a school b then we talk this is the gateway here so that's the gateway here so uh, company one company two then we call this gateway because the lock here all the lock here uh, belong to company one all the lock here are handled by company two that's why they call this gateway here between they are going to say that here so so anything uh, I send or receiving send from receiving uh, receiving uh, at this area here I'm going to mark this company one this side here company two here so that's the gateway information so why you need to have a gateway here a bridge here bridge is, is not used just like hub bridge is um, um, from connect to land to land we just don't use the term anymore so this is a term uh, we don't use anymore here ethernet here yeah we talk about ethernet here ethernet is 802.11 uh, dot 3 i'm sorry 802.3 uh what's 802.3 you guys remember 802 a02 uh, a02 we, we just pronounce AO2 uh, 1980 February that three study group number three for IEEE they study this technology called Ethernet here I am a life member of IEEE and I have been invited to uh, do presentation for IEEE conference the 1980 here thinking about 1980 they start to working on this technology so Ethernet, that's very, very old technology here. We're still using today here. Mm, 1980 to today, 40 years now. So you can say that we have this uh, networking of 40 years here. At the time here, they have three different technology. One is Ethernet, created by IEEE. Another one is Token Ring, T-O-K-E-N-R-I-N-G. I'll show you Token Ring here. This is the Token Ring here ring token ring have a token have a ring token ring was created by ibm but nobody uses it anymore so ibm's token rings nobody uses it anymore ethernet everybody is using it another one is called fddi f 
is for fiber. DDI, that's dual, dual. So FDDI, they have two, one and two here. So that's FD, FDDI. Mm, now let me show you, maybe I can show you what FDDI means here. So let's see here. Also, what's FDDI? Mm, let's see, how can you draw an FDDI? One way to draw FDDI will be like that here. Whoa, okay, so what's FDDI? F D D I. Ah, my beautiful handwriting. And token ring T O K E N token ring. Well, I should be a painter. That's a token ring here. Nobody used it. That's IBM. Sorry, IBM. Very inefficient. FDTI. That today is for backbone. Still, still use it, but not for lane. It's not used for backbone here. So what's FDTI here? FDTI is like this way. So this is a uh, look like that here, and this is look like that here. This is FDTI here. So if you have something here, you have something here. That is called computer devices here. Computer devices. That's called FDTI. See, if someone cut this cable here, physically cut the cable, they still have another cable. So that's not stuff. And if, so forget about the cutting stuff here. And they had this for backbone, huge amount of info going to be sent from here back and forth here. Um, so they need to have two fiber cable. That's always fiber. Fiber cable to have a load sharing here. So if this guy using like 50, if this guy using like 50 of the load, in case someone cut this cable, then you still have the 50, 50 all move to here. You have 100, still still work here. So more secure, that's for back prong here. It's not for, uh, for land here. And the last one is ethernet. E-T-H-E-R. N-E-T. That's your ethernet. And that's I-triple-E. I triple E E in I triple E is an organization, standard organization A O two A O two dot three. And later on, the actually is IBM created token ring was A O two dot five. So the standard body make the standards, meaning everybody can use it here, A O two dot five. But nobody used it here, so forget about the IBM stuff. Nobody used that. Nobody used that. AO2.3, that's IEEE. In case people talking about Ethernet, talking about AO2.3, talking about LAN here, they are talking about same concept here. So you may see people say LAN, what is your LAN? What is your Ethernet? What is your AO2.3? They are talking about the same. This one is the, uh, this, this one is the standard. And this one is a local area and network. And this one is a technology Ethernet here, created by IEEE in here. And this Ethernet was created by Zelops here. X, E, R, O, X. Yeah. Now it's famous for their copy machine. And copy machine paper it used to be very, very creative. The very first one here is wireless in Hawaii. Many, many small islands here. But right now, after that, here is wild here. So Ethernet is wild here. Basically, it's wild here. Wi-Fi, you have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you know that's your wild, wild here. It's not wireless here, a cable here. So, so thinking about Ethernet, so people will say, What's, what kind of Ethernet cable you are using? Ethernet cable you are using here, like Cat5, the most widely used, Cat, C-A-T, C-A-T, Cat five, category five, or Cat six here, a better one, or fiber here. So that's your Ethernet cable. That's what people are going to talk about fiber. Yep. 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 That's what we have here. Okay, for networking here. Come back to our slide here. 
And so we're talking about Ethernet. You understand everything about Ethernet here. And they, the speed here is from 10 megabits per second to 100 gigabits per second. That's very fast here, standard here. Uh, right now, you need one and a half megabits per second here to, per, to support the video. Then you have 100 gigabits per second here. That's very fast here. I don't know what you want to do with that kind of speed here, but you can. So Ethernet is very flexible here and everybody using Ethernet here. If I may come back to here, see, is that still, still here? Oh, still here. So Ethernet here is everything here. Ethernet, Ethernet, see, uh, see the fancy pen here. That's your Ethernet. Okay, I got your attention here. Ethernet, Ethernet, Ethernet. Yeah, forget about token ring, forget about FDDI here. You need, really need to know Ethernet here. And Ethernet is for LAN here, L, A, N, that's local area network. And also for WAN, wide area network. They are all Ethernet. So they are all Ethernet. And Ethernet have different types here. The most widely used Ethernet is gigabit Ethernet. G I gigabit G A gigabit Ethernet here gigabit Ethernet. So, so you're gonna hear this term. People say, "Well, my company have a gigabit Ethernet for land and web." That's a sentence you want to memorize here and understand about that gigabit Ethernet here. Say any other stuff here, token ring FDDI or any other stuff here? No. Um, just Ethernet here, no. They have a different slow, slow type Ethernet here. Most likely the company will use gigabit Ethernet because nowadays here, the need of uh, bandwidth has been increasing dramatically. Yep, okay. So, yep, that's my whiteboard here. Come back here to our textbook. Yep, Ethernet, you know a lot about Ethernet here from from 10 megabits per second, um, they can give you 2 megabits per second, that's no problem. So Ethernet here, yeah, the share here, so 10, you don't need to have a 10 here, you have 1.5, that's good enough here, up to oh, this unlimited. This one here, IS here, ISIT, that's the term you use here. IS is more used for business, like a, a bank, and IT is more used for oh, like phone company, like AT&T. Verizon here, so IT, IS here. Similar ideas, sometimes people um, use it uh, interchangeably here, information system here. Office automation system here. Yeah, that's off, <laughs> right now it's of course office automation. Now. That's um, a lot of um, computers, internet, uh, thinking about computer and in it, um, internet are used. That's your office automatic system here. Now, nowadays, office automatic here. Yeah. We all know that here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You want to talk to people, people say, send me an email. Yeah, you talk to me, I promise you something. Later on, we both get confused. So that's office automation. Now, nowadays, office, you need a computer, number one here, and also mobile phone here, and number three here, internet. Without that here, yeah, you're not office automation here. Yeah. That's like, yeah. This one talking about TPS here, transaction processing system like ATM here. We all use ATM machine here. ATM here, uh, ATM here is based on a protocol called X.25. X.25, that's still IEEE. That's, the, that's your ATM stuff, X.25 protocol here. X.25 ATM here, I still remember because I used that in the industry for 15 years. So ATM machine here, X.25 here. X.25 standard tells you, you insert the car here, you want to get um, 100 bucks here out of your bank account here, then from here, they're going to send to the bank. The bank here, the bank have a server here, going to check uh, using the X.25 here, protocol uh, a packet here with payload and header here, send it to there, they're going to come back here. The timing here is like two seconds. Within two seconds, they're going to send back a yes or no. Say you want to get withdraw 100 bucks, you don't have 100 bucks there, then you only have 20. So they're going to say, no, you cannot withdraw 100. 
and most likely you have 100, so they're going to say yes, do that. But extra 25 cent to the server, the bank server, the bank server come back. The timing is set by default to two seconds. If in case this connection is not there, have some problem here, so you're trying to check with your bank here, and there's no response, then this machine, the software, out of two seconds will be timed out. Time out here, they're not going to tell you, hey, we cannot verify. They are going to give you a misleading message. You just say, no, no, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Then you say, how come I cannot do that here? I do have 100 bucks in my bank account. How come I cannot do that? Why I'm not, why I'm not allowed to withdraw one by my own $100 here? It's not like that here. It's not that the bank don't like you here. It's the communication is not there. Okay, So that's your ATM machine here. Okay, mm the actual ATM machine we use a lot here. We're going to withdraw some money from ATM machine. They have some, yeah, magnetic tag, tag here. They can read it here. We all know that here. Read your PIN number here. Yeah, you enter your PIN number for security purpose here. Important of TPS here. Mm, transaction processing. This is transaction money stuff here. And MIS here. So what's MIS here? MIS is managed management information system you can think about using the business here thinking about system we know that's a computer lots of computer stuff here info that's lots of data based on the data we come up with an info here say for instance in your uh, bank account you have 200 bucks oh well, okay okay you have 200 bucks so if in your bank account you have twenty thousand bucks here whoa whoa you, you have more money here and you have less money here that's kind of info here that makes some difference here about the info here. And if you want to, you go to the bank, you want to uh, you go to the the, um, the cashier, you say, I want to withdraw $100. $100. They say, oh, fine. You say, hey, I want to withdraw half million dollars. Well, I have half million dollars here. Well, that's different info. The data makes the info is different. We want to make sure here, if you want to withdraw half million dollars, we really want to make sure you are whatever you say you are here. The $100, we can afford that loss here. Half million dollars, we cannot. Mm, let's make sure. Let's make sure that's you. Everything is right here. So that's info here. Based on the data, we come up with info. Come up with info, we come up with management. Management here, it means decision. We're going to make that decision here, right? Right, we have com computer system for you to withdraw $100. Well, yeah, 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 okay, we'll let you do that decision here. We have computer system to let you withdraw half million dollars from the bank, from your bank account. You have, you have that kind of money here. Then the decision here, we need to be more checks, more careful to protect you and the bank here. Question here? Nah, no question here. That's why they call management information system. Info here, based on the data, you come up with some kind of info. Info here, mean, meaning that's sensitive info, important stuff here, your password here, and some public info here. And management here, decision making here. They want to make the right decision. Some is more critical, some is not that critical. They need to have all the procedures to, to be followed here. MIS, great. The K, MIS. Yeah, and it's just 3D here. For instance, if you want to um, go there and withdraw your half million bucks here from your bank account, they may want your fingerprint. They may want something. You say, hey, uh, what's the heck here? I, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, when you when you read the fine print of the bank um, agreement here, which you, sign, you have signed here, they may want you to like, okay, I'll show you my driver license. No, nah, that's not good enough for half million bucks here. Well, we need to have a 3D visual, your um, fingerprint or something like that here. Yeah. It's to protect you here. I think you would like that. You don't want people to uh, come up with a fake ID to go to your bank account and to withdraw your half million bucks here. Yeah. <laughs> that's not going to be what you like to. So, yeah, so that's the stuff here. MIS examples here, they show you for example, supervisor may need to see a daily report. Yeah, that's right here. Um, without a computer here, or we use half of the computer, half of uh, manpower here, we want to see the report, the boss will say, the CEO, the director will say, well, give me that report like um, 24 hours here. After something happened 24 hours here, you give me a report here. 
today with the computer, with the heavy use of MIA system, you can see real time. I want to see at this moment here, what do we have, okay? Not like 24 hours ago or 24 hours before information here. Because um, uh, in a global market, even 24 hours can change a lot with the MIS speed. Um, the info here, you gave me 24 hours ago info and that computer gave me right now's info here. I'm based on right now info to make a decision and someone is based on 24 hours ago info to make a decision. You see the difference here, MIS tempo here. So that kind of stuff here. Not to mention about if your system is down here, you have no info to make no decision. That would be terrible. DSS decision support system here. Yeah, see here, and it's they are going to this another term is called expert system. I have designed expert system for a company. Expert system is we narrow it down here, we give proposal here. We still have data to come with info here. We still have info, many, many info to the decision maker. We'll say CEO, how about that? CEO need to make a decision here. Um, then this expert system or decision support system going to help the CEO to based on an analysis like AI, artificial intelligence. See, we come up with suggestion A, B, C. <laughs> so it turned out to be like not an open question. What do you want to do? Turn out to be like a multiple choice. Mm, let me see A or B or C. And a suggested um, um, decision is A. So that's all about the computer to help you here. And that's AI system here. They can learn many, many, many things, including from your previous decision. You make this decision, well, it's wrong decision. Turn out to be, you make this decision, well, yeah, it's a good decision. And eventually, so they based on those information, big database to suggest you, of course, you still need human to make decision because based on previously what happened, most likely this A is the right decision here. There may be some new event, so they cannot handle. The computer, that's new, new stuff here. AI so far, they, they don't, they cannot learn here. So um, that's your decision making system, expert system here. DSS Gdempo here. Yeah, active versus passive here. Yeah, you want to play an active, uh, proactive role here, not passive here, uh, to in the business, be more aggressive here. There be expert system. Yep, expert system you can consider is one of the decision support system here. That's AI. So where's the problem? I consider here step here action taken, reasoning for the action here. The most important is to find solution here. They suggest you to find a solution here. How they work here and here. Expert system example here. Okay, see one example here. Mm, okay, active educational programs such as McGraw Hills, uh, Learn Smart Advantage use extensive data and sophisticated programming to deliver a customized experience. Yeah, that's Learn Smart. You remember? They have a new way, they have a chapter, want you to read it but they are not sure you're gonna read it or not. So instead, like this one here, they ask you some question. Remember you have, let me try. Let's see, yeah, let me try. So that's what you have. Let me try, this is a example they're showing you here. You say, let me try here, they click on that, they're going to ask you some question. If you can answer the question, well, then you don't need to read this chapter here. If you cannot answer this question, you need to search the chapter, try to read it here. So. Um, that's to learn smart for reading. That's make sure you have read the chapter or you already know the answer, then that's fine here. So that's the new way. Otherwise they would not know, the teacher would not know the students whether they have read the assigned chapter or they have not here. To, um, that's all I would like to share with you today here. Um, I'll talk to you next time.